Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Gay From Scratch, and today we've got a very niche subject. What we were talking about is Hacks, the programming language, in the fold, the game engine. And I'm actually a huge fan of both of these technologies, so combine them together, it's like peanut butter and jam if I liked either, which I actually don't. But anyways, today we are talking about getting Hacks, the programming language, to work in the default game engine. Now, if you've never heard of either of these, first off, we've got the default game engine. It is completely free by King. Yes, that King. Um, it is a powerful 2.5D game engine, and if you're interested in learning more about it, I have covered this guy pretty extensively, actually. Over on Game From Scratch, I did a full tutorial series on using default game engine 1.x, and then I did an updated crash course that covers using 2. X over on Dev Game. I will link both of those down below. So if you are interested in learning more about the fold, I've got you covered. And I do recommend you check it out. It is a very cool, unique uh, programming experience. It uses the Lua language and a messaging system. And on the topic of the Lua language, well, that is how the Hacks programming language is able to integrate. As of Hacks 3.4, Hacks can now. Um, I guess it's transpile, compile, trans, I think it's transpile, transpile to Lua code. So basically, instead of creating binary code or byte code or anything like that, it's actually creating Lua code. And what someone has done is taken this Lua translation layer and made it so that you can use hacks in default with HX default. And that's exactly what we are looking at today. We're looking at the process of creating and programming a game in hacks, um, sorry, in default game engine using the hacks programming language. And it is a pretty straightforward process. And we we're going to walk through that right now. So you're going to need this uh, hacks to fold here. Uh, I will show you the entire process right now. So first off, we need to go ahead and create our game. So we're going to fire up the default game engine. You can get this over at default.com. Again, it is free. You need to log in with an email address, but that's about it. Um, here we go, firing up the fold, and then you're going to have to create your project. So there is a little bit of extra work here. And unfortunately, you can't code directly inside of the default game engine for hacks if you want to have any kind of code completion or anything like that. You're going to probably need a tool like Visual Studio Code. So let's go ahead and create a new project. We'll create a desktop game project. Um, I'll throw this guy where I always throw this guy. Street goal and slash temp. All right, select that folder. And we will call this hacks demo and create the new project. So give this a second. It's going to create pretty much an empty game for us. Uh, not a whole lot going on. Allow that through. Um, here is the hacks editor. Here is our main of sorts. Here is, I guess you could call this your level. And that's really all that this project does so far. You'll notice it's got a main.script, which is a simple Lua file. So now what we want to do is hacksify this guy. And this takes a couple of steps. And first off, obviously, you're going to need to have hacks installed, and you're going to need to have git installed. And those are pretty standard if you're doing hacks development in the first place. Okay, so I fired up a command prompt. Hopefully, you can see this just fine. Now, the first thing that we need to do is go ahead and install the HX default library. And that is done using hackslib. So run hackslib. If you don't, if this command doesn't work for you, it means that hacks is not installed correctly. And we want to run HX default like so. And then HTTPS colon slash slash github.com forward slash HXE or HX default, HX default. And this will go ahead and install it from GitHub. Give it a second. It is now installed and good to go. Now what we need to do is configure it in our project. So what we do is we switch into the project we just created. So C colon slash temp slash hacks demo. And now we just go ahead and say hacks lib run HX default and it. And when this is done, you'll notice right here, we have a new script has been created. So we got a project for us, an HXML file. And if we go into our source folder right here, you'll see we now have hello.hx or our hacks code. Now the problem we have here is hacks, or sorry, uh, the fold itself still only understands Lua. So we're gonna have to go ahead and build our code outside of the default game engine. Don't worry, this is very simple, especially because they built this build.hxml uh, file for us. So in order to build this, we just run hacks and then build.hxml. Oh, I'm in the wrong folder, just a sec. Let's try that again, hacks build.hxml. This will go ahead and run and generate our code. So now if we head on back over here to the default game engine, you'll notice our default code was attached to our game object. I'm just going to go ahead and take that out. And now we can go ahead and say go. We can add a component file to it. 
and you'll see now our hello script is generated. Now this is ultimately still generating Lua for us. We'll look at this in a second. So we'll go ahead and add hello.script and this is our hacks generated script. So if we head on back over here, uh, we can see the script in action. So let's double click this guy. And you'll see it's a very simple trace uh, printing out a self-referential value. You're going to probably want to hook up something like Visual Studio Code for your back-end code editing so you get full code completion, etc. Uh, but you can see how the hookup works. And there's also some examples. We'll get to that in just a second. Uh, but this is hacks code. Now, the kicker is it ultimately does need to be compiled down to Lua. So if we come here and look, uh, we will see where does it actually get spit out to. Uh, let me check that one second. Oh, I'm blind. It's right here. So the, the, the script that is generated is created right here in hello script. So this is what our HX file is compiled down to. So you're still ultimately working entirely in Lua as your end result, but you do all of your coding using the hacks language. The only real catch again, is you don't get code completion directly in the editor for your hacks files, and you have to do a build yourself from a command prompt like this. I imagine you can hook it up to run it as a tool directly from in here to create one less step that's required. Uh, but for the most part, that is the process. So you can actually create uh, default games completely using the uh, hacks programming language. Now, if you're interested in it, let me just get this guy back over here. Uh, you will see back with the, uh, uh, the GitHub page, if we go to here in the documentation, there is an API reference for you to jump into so you can see what uh, the default hacks bindings actually consist of. Very simple and straightforward. And then we have a bunch of examples. So if you want to see, for example, a platformer example written in hacks, uh, it is here. So if you go into um, like source, for example, you will see here is the main code in hacks for controlling this guy. Here is the code for controlling the hero. You can see how to send messages. So here's the message posting system. So it is the same basic process, the same basic underlying technology and techniques. You're just using hack syntax instead of Lua. And it is being compiled for Lua for your use in the game. And the cool thing is, as you can see from the results, uh, if we head on back over here, this Lua code that is generated is typical looking Lua code. So if you ever decide to switch away from hacks and just use Lua, you're good to go. So uh, this definitely gives you another language choice when it comes to the default game engine, and it gives you another game engine option when it comes to the hacks programming language, which are both wins in my opinion. So that is it. That is running uh, the hacks programming language on the default game engine. Hopefully at least like four of you, maybe five of you found that interesting. I know it's a bit of a, a niche subject with a bit of a tight Venn overlap, but I found it interesting enough that I did a video, and hopefully at least a few of you found it interesting. Have you checked out the default game engine? Have you checked out the hacks programming language. What do you think of both? And are you thinking about trying them together? Let me know and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.